Hello, I'm Pastor Matthew Coleman from First Baptist Church in Clay Center, Kansas, and I welcome you today, Friday, February 19th, 2021, to our Ministry Minute. Today, we're continuing our exploration of verses that seek to challenge and encourage us, especially as we are acting as missionaries or ambassadors for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in our own communities. Today, we look to the Old Testament and we're exploring a portion of the Psalms. And we know that the Psalms are songs. And these songs have songs of praise, songs of worship, songs of woe, songs of lamenting. They cover so many different emotions and human experiences. And this Psalm is the 34th Psalm. And our verse for today is the 19th verse of Psalm 34, which says, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. You know, so very often as we contemplate our lives as believers in Jesus Christ, we, we tend to think that everything is just gonna go smoothly, that there'll be no problems or difficulties, but God doesn't promise that there will be no problems or difficulties. He doesn't promise a life free of trials and tribulations and temptations, or as verse 19 uses, afflictions. No. In fact, very often because of the, our desire to live righteously, to live godly lives, to exemplify Christ-like characteristics, very often because of those, we face difficulties. And as I say, God doesn't promise that they won't be there. But he does promise us, especially as we see in the book of Hebrews, he promises to never leave us. He promises to never forsake us. And so as we contemplate uh, the situations that we may face, as we seek to share the truth of who Jesus is and what Jesus has done for us, we realize that there will be times when we will face afflictions. We will experience afflictions as a result of that. Sometimes people lose friendships. Sometimes people lose jobs. Sometimes people even lose their lives as a result of standing for Jesus Christ, standing with Jesus Christ. And so we realize that there are afflictions, there are difficulties, there are problems. But as this verse reminds us, it says, the Lord delivers him out of them all. And that idea of delivering is that idea of rescuing, of saving us. And we know, of course, that God has saved us spiritually from the consequences, uh, from the power and the presence and the punishment of sin. And he also can deliver us. He can rescue us from difficult circumstances. Now, sometimes that deliverance doesn't occur uh, in the time frame that we're expecting or in the fashion that we're expecting. But this verse reminds us that God is working, God does care, and God does deliver us as we seek to place our trust and faith in Him. So today, again, I don't know what your life is like. I don't know what experiences or circumstances or situations that you may be facing. And perhaps some of them you may qualify uh, as afflictions. But don't forget that the same God that says he'll never leave you or forsakes you, forsake you also says that he will deliver you out of those afflictions. So let him do that. Give the situation to him and allow him to work in your life as you seek to demonstrate your faith, to be a missionary to your community, to your workplace, to your school, to your family. Allow God to work and you'll be surprised and amazed at how he does it. Thank you so much for joining me today. We look forward to seeing you again real soon here at First Baptist Church in Clay Center, Kansas. And do know that we're praying for you and your family. We pray for our nation and we pray for this world.